Hey guys, what is going on? Nucleus Gaming Lord Jordan here bringing you a gameplay on Encore. I uh, come in a little bit late and I uh, start using the Shikam and it's a pretty good gun. It's an alright gameplay, it's not the best. But this game, oh, this video is to explain about the new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Ghosts, which has been leaked and revealed to the public and a uh, a sneak peek poster for when you can start pre-ordering the game has also been leaked as well and so those will be on screen or would have been on screen or will be on screen either one they're not on for me just so I can get the timing right actually quite ironically so the game is Call of Duty Ghosts as you can see as you can see the PS3 version will be on the left and the Xbox version will be on the right and notice that it is PS3 and Xbox 360 whether that means anything I'm not too sure um, hopefully it does because if it turns out that the consoles aren't worth it, which I doubt, but if it turns out that they're not worth it, then I'm pretty sure um, Infinity Ward, yes, Infinity Ward, um, would release it on the original consoles as well, just so they can get more money, which is actually quite smart. So, um... On the screen now would be a uh, a poster that Activision and Infinity Ward would give retailers um, so that people can pre-order games at their particular store. And so as you can see it's like just an ordinary poster pretty much without a photo but it says to not release it until the 5th of the 1st 2013 which for Australia is the 1st of May and for US obviously it's still the 1st of May and anywhere else as well so uh, last year we saw for Black Ops 2 that it, wa it was the 2nd of May but on the 1st of May we also saw a reveal trailer to kind of like uh, kind of raise people up kind of thing, get them really excited, um, kind of leak some information, some key aspects such as the new creative class system, we already knew about that, we already knew about the setting pretty much, and for a whole week we were just given, it was like, a, we were just given little bits of information and that's kind of so as well. So this week we've been already given this new poster. Um, also, uh, as you can see, the, the description of this game that I forget the name of the company, but online they posted this description of the game as if you were to buy it. And it just says how it was published by Activision, made by Infinity Ward who were the people who did some of the first Call of Duty games in the Modern Warfare series. This is Modern this is, um, not Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Ghosts. And, um, it's got a new Call of Duty engine, a next generation engine. And that's basically it, pretty much. It would have been on screen, or still is, or will be. Um, that's pretty much it on that topic. Uh, they put it up, they took it back down, and now it's back up as well. So, um, like last year, and many times before that, a video, like a trailer was, um, leaked to the public, or given to the public, about a day before the reveal trailer. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
A day before we were able to pre-order the game, a reveal trailer came out. So I was just trying to rethink that again from memory. So whether that means that we'll be seeing a reveal trailer on the 30th of April, which for me is tomorrow, and depending on when about to view this, is kind of the question. If there is, then it will be on my channel. If there isn't, then it won't be because there wouldn't be such a thing. So that's pretty much that covered. Now, um, with the next generation Call of Duty engine, that might also be a link to the next generation consoles because next generation is used pretty often. When someone says like the next generation something, it pretty much just means like the next step up. Whether they've done it from scratch, I'm not sure. But it does sound like it will at least relate to or be a part of the next generation consoles. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not too sure. There's a pretty good link there. Um, also, I'm just trying to think back from memory of what I've seen. We've seen that um, it's Call of Duty Ghosts. There's a new set as well. There's like a new set story characters. Um, as you would as you would expect. There's always a new story with a new game. But new characters also interesting. Um, a new set that's generally going to happen. Um, Black Ops 2 obviously. Black Ops 1. Uh, the Modern Warfare series as well. World at War. Stuff like that. So that's pretty much that covered as well. That was in the little description thing that you would have read already. But I'm pretty sure that's about it for all of the information. I'm just trying to think about it off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm just going to finish it off there and say um, if you are excited for the next Call of Duty, and whether you'll get it, feel free to comment it down below and what you think will be introduced, for example. Like a new, like maybe there's a new creator class system, we don't know. Uh, on the left, there is a Black Ops Funny Moments video called Oi, Not Even Diamond and a Special Guest in it. And on the right is my second episode of the Dawnguard live playthrough series.